Hello everybody and thank you for watching this short video. My name is Rajiv Rukhrelia. I'm a trustee member of the Rukhrelia Foundation, which is a subsidy of the Rukhrelia Group of Companies. Today I decided to do a video based on the global pandemic known as coronavirus or COVID-19, which has affected over 70% of the world and its continuous numbers are growing. Recently, we've also got cases of COVID-19 in Uganda, also known as coronavirus. We have now up to 14 cases and the numbers are growing quite rapidly. Although the authorities are doing everything they can, this is a highly contagious virus that is, has been growing globe, uh, all around the world at extreme growth rates of 100% and above until it's hit its peak. So the Rupert Foundation would like to reach out and first of all thank the following people. Our Head of State, our Minister of uh, Health, uh, all the doctors and nurses and public health serv uh, uh, public servants who have been working tirelessly day and night and the enforcement and security agencies who have also been working day and night to ensure that all the directives given by head of state are followed and obeyed by the, by the, by the public. A special thanks goes out to a friend of mine, Cedric Babu in Delhi, who has reached out to me at the same time I reached out to him to say that Ruparelia Foundation feels like it's sitting here and not doing enough during this time of price for our country. So I decided to make this video as well as give a contribution, which I'll come to at a later stage. So what is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a highly contagious virus. Uh, and what can we do as individuals to avoid COVID-19 affecting us or affecting people around us? First of all, is taking responsibility for ourselves and our neighbors. Number one is social distancing, keeping two meters away from each other. Although this is hard in some of our Ugandan households, as we know very well, because of the number of people that live in the small space that some of us have, we can look at keeping extremely hygienic, washing your hands every 30 minutes, having three showers a day, having washing your clothes daily, ensuring that you don't have any public gatherings, where you see a potential uh, infected uh, friend or person or family, stay away from them, move people away from them, don't allow public gatherings around them, and actually just call the authorities to deal with it in a professional manner. The Rupert Foundation recently had a meeting and has decided that it's going to try and help some of the vulnerable people in some of the lower income areas of Uganda. So what we've done is we've taken a decision to contribute 5,500 care packages, which will be given to 5,500 families. Uh, each care package shall include a kilo of posho, a kilo of beans, and a bar of soap. One is to keep you, uh, keep you fed during this period of uh, COVID-19, and two, the bar of soap is to make sure that you keep extremely, extremely hygienic, uh, so that we can avoid the virus infecting more people. Um, I would like to explain how this will all work. In Kampala, we have 20 parishes, and out of the 20 parishes, we've selected 12 parishes to work with. Uh, out of those 12 parishes, we'll be contacting their local leaders uh, and working through the local leaders for the individuals, families and in individuals to come and collect uh, their care package directly from our team, which will be deployed on the ground. We'll be visiting two parishes every day, and this exercise will be uh, coordinated by Cedric Babu, a friend of mine and an aspiring MP of Kampala City. Uh, Kampala City. Um, and my foundation team, and as well as volunteers of my foundation team. Um, they will be going around these different parishes, and helping ensuring that single women, disabled people, uh, children are first the priority who will be taken care of.
On behalf of our trustees, our founding trustee Dr. Sudhir Ruprelia and Joshna Ruprelia, and our members Mira Ruprelia, Sheena Ruprelia, and my, lovely, my beloved wife Nea Ruprelia, we hope and wish you to be safe during this period. Take this very seriously and please look after your friends and family as well as ensuring that you look after yourselves primarily. Thank you very much. Finally, out of everything, I would like to call upon the private sector, individuals um, and people who are in, in a better position than others to come together, help support this cause and let's support Uganda during this trying time and its people. Let's fight Corona together and make sure that Uganda gets through this hard time as a stronger community. Thank you very much.